Hi, welcome to this QuickBooks training video. Today we're going to look at voiding a check in QuickBooks. Now, that may sound like a, it's an easy thing to do. There's a procedure on the menu, on the edit menu, to void the check. There, if you open the check window, um, on the delete icon, there is an option there to void a check. But when QuickBooks voids a check, all it does is it changes the amount to zero and prompts you to resave the transaction. If the check was written in the last day or two, that's probably not a problem. But if it's older than that, it can be a, uh, a serious problem. So let's say there's a check from last year and you want to avoid that. It's never going to clear. Maybe it was a duplication of some sort. And uh, if, if uh, the income tax return has been done or financial statements have been created and sent to the bank, something like that, and you avoid that check, well, then you've changed the numbers that were reported in those, in those other activities, like the financial statement or the income tax return. So when dates are old, it's important to find a way to void the check that will not affect numbers that have been reported in the past. Okay, that's what we want to do today. So I've got a uh, report here from the last reconciliation that was done in this QuickBooks sample file. I opened it already so that I could make the fonts a little bit larger, make it a little easier to see in the video. So if we scroll down here, you see the check marks. These are all the checks that were cleared in the reconciliation process. There's only one deposit that was cleared in the reconciliation process. And then the next section we get to down here are, are the uncleared items. So the date in the QuickBooks uh, sample file is December 15 of 2022. So you can see these checks. Uh, this was the uh, November of 2022 bank statement that was reconciled. And the dates on some of these checks that have not cleared are at the very end of November. So it makes sense that they didn't clear. They haven't hit the bank yet. However, we have this one that is from December 15 of 2021. Well, that check's a year old. It's never going to clear. So that's the duplication or, or whatever happened with that check. It really shouldn't be there. That our bank balance has, um, has subtracted that 523.48, but the, the money's really there because that check is not, uh, is not an accurate check. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this line. I'm going to pull up the check transaction. And um, I look, okay, so there's the amount. There's who was two. I look down here, it's uh, for office supplies. All right, the only thing I'm going to do for this check is to put a memo on it. I'm going to put voided by deposit on 12, and I'm going to use what the sample file considers to be today's date, 1215 of 2022. That's it. I'm not going to change the date, not going to change the amount. All I'm going to do is put that note on the memo line. Save the check. Now, I want to reverse that amount, right? So I'm going to go to record deposits. Any payments that are in the system, I'm not going to include those. And in I only want one thing in this deposit. And that is office supplies, which is the account that was used on that check. I'm going to create a memo here. This, uh, this deposit voids check number 350 from 1215 of 2022. Then I want to put the amount. And let's see, that amount was 523.48. That's it. That's all I want in this deposit. It's important that it be a separate deposit all to itself. Save that. Okay, well, my bank account is more accurate now because I really do have that $523 in there. At least uh, when I say that my bank account balance, I'm talking about the balance in QuickBooks. So the final step to this will be the next time I go to reconcile. So banking, reconcile, I want to reconcile the checking account. Uh, this is going to be, so my next reconciliation is December 31. Continue. Let me make this a little bigger. So here's what I want to show you. 
here is the check okay, that I want to get rid of. Um, it's not on the bank statement, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to mark it as cleared anyway, because the other thing I'm going to do is then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find that deposit that I've got here. And those two, so that's the deposit that I created. Those two transactions together, of course, net to zero. And so now my bank account balance in QuickBooks is accurate. And that old check isn't going to keep popping up. And every time I do the reconciliation, I have to leave it. So um, this, this makes everything more accurate and it makes my reports uh, much easier to follow. So I uh, hope that was helpful. And uh, we have some other uh, videos here on the channel that you might find useful. Thanks. Have a great day.